hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you well in this video i'm actually going to show you me using 50 volume developer for the very first time and like the outcome things like that so this wig is a handmade custom wig from if you stays here using three bundles of 24 inch if i'm correct 22 24 and then a 6 by 6 um 18 inch closure and body wave so if you're interested in purchasing i'll put the link down below So I'm going to be using BW2 Bleach and 50 Volume Developer for this look today. And I already mixed it off camera and I got that like creamy texture. It's not too thick and it's not too watery. So you always want to make sure you're wearing gloves um, all the time because it's going to burn like hell if you don't. So I'm going for a, highlight, a highlighted look. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start from the bottom up to the closure. And what I'm going to do is take my comb and basically, like, take out every other hair. So I'm going to use my comb and just go through the piece of hair and basically just take out every other hair. And every other hair that I take out is the one that's going to be highlighted. So I took out my every other piece and now I'm just going to twist it just to get it out the way. And I'm going to get a piece of foil paper which I already put bleach on it. And I put bleach on it um, prior to just cause, just to make sure that this, that just to make sure, sorry, that each strand is getting a sufficient amount of bleach. And now I'm just going to saturate that those pieces of hair with the bleach. FYI, if you're ever going for that Ashley Blonde type of look, BW2 is not really your go-to. Um, I definitely recommend like Blonde Me or um, any other brand that has that actually lifts to nine levels. So BW2 only lifts to seven levels. That's why it doesn't give you that ashy type of blonde color at first. With BW2 bleach, you have to do like multiple times to get the ashy look, and of course, toning it after. But with like Blonde Me or any other um, brand that lifts to nine levels, you're able to just do it in like one pass and then tone it. So I'm using the foil just to get like to make sure the bleach doesn't touch the other parts of the hair. And now I'm just going to wrap it up and yeah, I let it get to work. So I'm going to continue this step for the rest of the hair. Like I said, I'm going to part it in sections and within that sections, I'm going to take out every other piece of hair and then get my piece of foil paper and saturate those pieces with bleach. Thank you. 
All right, so now we're done. Well, I'm done. <laughs> and I'm going to let this sit for like 30 minutes. And let's see how the outcome comes. So 30 minutes have passed. And now I'm just going to pull out the pieces of foil paper. As you can see, I got that nice blonde color. And we're going to see how these look at the end. So after um, I wash this out with neutralizer shampoo, ISO Plus neutralizer shampoo, I'm going to go ahead with the um, Shimmer Light shampoo to tone these blondes. So with the Shimmer Light shampoo, I let it sit in the hair for about 15 minutes and I wash it out and then I go in with deep conditioner just to bring back the moisture in from bleaching the hair because bleaching does cause the hair to be more dry and also damages the hair so it's also it's always best to deep condition and the hair after you bleach and always make sure you get every single bit of bleach out because if you don't it's going to be really dry and the hair is going to be not going to feel good so this is the outcome of the bleach um i blow dried it off camera i used my hot comb and you know, did my thing parted and everything so now we're going to go into styling. This looks so cute, y'all. Like, I just love this. And this is my first time actually doing these type of highlights. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, like, experiment and do different looks and things like that. But, of course, with this bleach, BW2, you can't achieve that. I mean, you could achieve the ash bomb, but not in one um, take. So, yeah. This is how it looks like. And then I blow dried it. So now I'm just going to curl it and layer it. And, yeah. So I'm going to have a curling hair tutorial very soon. Um, I, I I know you guys always see me curling my videos and you guys always wonder like how do we how do I get my curls and like that. I'm going to have a detailed video very soon. I just um, these videos I just don't like to explain too much cuz like I don't want it to be too much of a drag. So yeah. Um, I'm going to use my go-to which is my Red Kiss 1 inch flat iron and this Icy Beauty I keep forgetting the name. Um, flat iron heat protecting spray and shining spray. So I always make sure the hair gets enough of the the shining and heat protecting spray. And um, I'm using this one inch to achieve like medium size um, curling iron, wand curls or whatever barrel curls. So yeah. Just wow, guys. I look at this. And I had to go in the sunlight real quick because it's given. It's really given. It's really given because, yes, the curls, everything, the color, the lace, the part. It's given. But yeah, this is my Bumblebee unit. I already gave it a name because this is an old video. <laughs> so yeah, this is my bum custom Bumblebee unit 6x6 closure. And if you're interested in a custom unit just like this, I can easily replicate it for you. Just let me know down below. You can DM me on my Instagram page if you save hair or um, build, fill out a build a wig form on my website. 
I tried it on. This is how it looks like on me. And um, I'm not really a fan of how I talk on myself. So, yeah, don't judge me. But, yeah, this is really cute. And, yeah, I love it so much. This is my first time using Fifty Volume Developer. And this is how it came out. But thank you for watching my video, guys. Tune in for more. Like, comment, subscribe. And see y'all in my next one. Later.